Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my Schalke career mode. First of all, I've got to say sorry, this episode has been delayed so much because of all the FIFA 15 news and things like that. But don't worry, you know, I'm still playing this, this Schalke career mode. I'm going to be uploading it until the very end. Um, just took a little bit of a break, I guess. And here is the episode, is it 36 now? My God, 36 episodes. Feels like I've been doing it for so long when actually it's only been, I think, over a month now. So pretty good, uh, pretty good going there. And uh, in this episode, let me just say this now, guys. This game here against Leverkusen is incredible. Actually, one of my best games I've ever played on FIFA. And I don't necessarily win it, just saying that. It's just end-to-end, -end, fast gameplay, loads of goals, really nice passing, and just in general, a really good game to watch. So I hope you enjoy this. I played this at 3 in the morning last night. Normally, I play like absolute shit when I'm tired, but for some reason, I was on it last night. And just look at this bit of play, like... How, how often do you see a lovely chip ball through in, a volley onto the post, and then a follow-up finish? I mean, this that pass there from Cavani was inch perfect. Such a shame for me, no, couldn't finish it. But luckily enough, someone was on hand, and that someone was Hoga to push the ball into the net. The empty net, pretty much. The keeper maybe could have done better. But maybe not. And again, just beautiful play with Cavani and Firmino there. They are great together. They really are. Um, but again, Firmino's finishing. I don't know what it is lately. I just haven't been able to score goals with him. Um, but either way, he's getting in those positions. So the goals will come. Maybe he needs to work on his finishing. Um, but anyway, I got lucky here. A pass just manages to get through the defence. I have no idea how it got through. It just seemed to happen. And um, yeah, basically, the ball decided to bounce on the back of the keeper into the net. Very, very strange goal. It's been a while since I scored something like this, where great volley, by the way. Just, I'm so lucky to see that one go in. And that made it 2-0 just before half time. But they had their final chance of the first half here. Lovely play from Hernandez here. He is such a pain in the ass to mark. Lovely chip ball and wasn't able to clear it. Such a shame because it would have been a nice 2-0 uh, half time lead but now it's been halved it's 2-1 and uh, tried a, cheek, a cheeky kickoff glitch there which didn't quite work out for me I'm not very good at it I just maybe I would need to practice but it's a bit cheeky so I won't be doing that I just fancied having a go at it to make it back to two goal difference but either way we did go in at half time winning the game by one goal or two goals it doesn't really matter in the end as long as you're winning and basically in the second half I just wanted to play as well as I had been in the first because I wanted more goals and there is another example of the beautiful play between Cavani and Firmino. They just link up so well together. Beautiful goal from Cavani as well. Lovely dinked header but my attack was good. My defence wasn't. Surprise, surprise guys. My defending was shocking and they make it through on goal there. Very easy finish in the end. Fairman, I don't know what's up with him this season. Last season he was a bit dodgy sometimes. This season he's been so inconsistent. Sometimes he's brilliant. And then sometimes he is awful. Just look at that. He's dived about a second after the ball's gone past him. Very, very, very annoying. Hopefully in FIFA 15, obviously with all these goalkeeper improvements, uh, which I uploaded a video, by the way, if you want to go ahead and watch that on my channel. Uh, hopefully they're a bit better. But this, again, guys, we're going to have to do a vote in the comments below. Which goal was the best one in this game? Was it this goal to make it 4-2? I think it is. I, I, I'm not sure there is a better goal in this gameplay than this lovely chip here. Volland grabs the ball, passes it across. First time chip. I mean, look at the accuracy. It's literally into the side netting there on the inside, of course. Absolutely perfection. There's no way any keeper in this game is going to say that. He can just watch it bounce in. Very unfortunate for him, I guess, but very fortunate for me that I was able to score it because it is a very, very difficult thing to do. The first time... Uh, chips there you, you need to sometimes adjust your, your player to get it right but again though defending lets me down Abel Hernandez gets through on goal he scored against me last season and he scored against me this season as well just have no idea how he got away from my defender there and I've no idea how the ball got through as well but it's okay we're winning 4-3 at that point and I held it out until the end and we got the victory so a massive seven goal thriller Lots of beautiful goals. I think one of the best games I've had this season in terms of entertainment. And I managed to win it, which was brilliant. And now we're moving into the last game before the end of the transfer window. Of course, I signed Danilo. And that was the last signing I'm ever going to make on this career mode. Because obviously I'm finishing at the end of this season. 
and um, just wants to get rid of all these games in the window and finish up January so we can see how much has been spent on players, where the big moves have been. Um, I think at the end you're going to see some very big movements from some of the big European clubs around the world. Um, well, in Europe, not around the world. Um, but you'll see those pop up at the end when we go through the last 10 hours, basically. But once again, I was trying these, you know, triple tap uh, crosses. Didn't work out for me there. But Sydney, Sam, oh, wow. Is that better than Cavani's goal? That's another thing we need to discuss. I love knowing which goals are better because at the end of this series, I do think I want to do some sort of, um, you know, awards video talking about the best goals, best assists and things like that. This should be up there. I mean, the way it's gone in. Oh, beautiful. There's another goal coming up. Just you wait. An even better one. I think possibly the best one of the series so far. Um, that's coming up. So you've got something to look forward to in the next minute or so. I was just trying to get a few more goals before half time once again. Because I'm not scoring enough in general, let alone the first half. And uh, after scoring a beautiful goal, Sam goes down and he's injured. Which is a right pain in the ass. And we'll see at the end how long he'll be out for as well. But I decided not to sub him straight away. I wanted to see if he could kind of run the injury off. Um, but it didn't seem that way, so I will make a change. And the referee decided to blow his whistle in a really inconvenient time there. Absolute bollocks. Look at this pass, though. That is beautiful to Firmino. Cuts inside there. Lovely pass to Cavani, but he's unable to get the header on target there. Comes off the defender's head instead. And Ibarbo... Oh, man, I've, I've got to stop giving away the ball in defence. I don't know what's going wrong with me there. Just, again, giving the ball away very cheaply. Poor defending once again, allowing teams to get back in the game. Very, very unfortunate, but it's my own fault, you know. Look at that. Just such a simple thing. Just clear the ball. No need to pass it out. And, of course, they score from it. It's, it's very frustrating. But anyway, the goal's coming, guys. Get excited. It's coming. Draxler with a great attempt there, blocked. Then Zalalem picks it up. And he hits the ball across the keeper. Now, that one does go in. It's not the goal I'm talking about. It's a beautiful finish from Zalalem, the youngster, who obviously didn't start off very well this season with his red card. But I've given him some more game time. He's now 72 overall, I think. So he's able to do things like this. Lovely bit of dribbling and a lovely shot across goal. But the goal that you want to see is coming up soon. They, unfortunately, do get back in the game once again. Not necessarily poor defending, just, just a very good pass from their team there to split my defence. But here we go, counter-attacking football at its best. Headed out, up to Draxler. Does a very heavy touch here. Didn't mean to do that too heavily, but I managed to keep the ball there to Cavani. Lovely pass up to Firmino. He threads it back into Cavani, takes the touch and smashes it. Holy shit, the ball didn't even look like it went in at first, but look at that absolute rocket into the top left corner honestly one of the best goals i think i've scored it's just it's so satisfying seeing it bounce back out of the goal still a goal and uh, no goal goal line technology needed there to see that one went in you did see the side netting a little bit ruffle up um am i going to give it away in the last minute luckily not we do manage to hold on there 3-2 was the result another great game full of goals there and not just goals but beautiful goals so hopefully you've enjoyed all of those Let's get through the last 10 hours of the window here. You can see Pato's gone to Man City there. Uh, we've got Junior Melanda who's gone to Dortmund. Uh, a few big moves there. You've got Dos Santos going to Fiorentina. Um, but there'll be some bigger ones coming through. Um, here we get an international manager offer for Russia. And here is the injury that Sam suffered. He's going to be out for three weeks. A little bit unfortunate timing. But we have lots of players who can fill in the gaps there. Lots of good players everywhere pretty much. But anyway, not much was going on in the window for me. Um, I think I got one offer, and that was for Mino. But boom, there's the big move. Look at that. Neuer to Real Madrid for 31.5 million. That's crazy. There's the offer from Man City for Firmino, which obviously I'm going to decline. Absolutely love Firmino. He's turned into one of my favourite players. He's just an absolute beast. Unfortunately, we get another injury there. Tejas out for seven days, which isn't very good. Got players leaving on international duty as well. A press conference, which just is so pointless. I hope they improve those for FIFA 15 as well. And there you can see 109 million euros has been spent. And we have a game in the Dutch. Sorry, I keep calling the Dutch. It's so annoying. The German Cup there, which we do actually win 3-0. I decided to assume it was a home game. And obviously, we want to be focusing on games coming up like this. Lazio, we're in the European Cup, guys. We need to win this. The Euro League is now the only thing left, really, including the German Cup and League, that I would like to win. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like rating, guys, and I'll see you in the new episode soon.